So the home base status report just came out. So for today's video, we're gonna take a look at it. But before we jump into the home base status report, there was some other interesting news that just came out. According to this tweet, the wild weather update is currently available in BR. And I'm kind of curious to see what that's all about. So let's go ahead and check this out first. And then we'll check out the home base status report. Uh, there was a tweet posted a couple minutes ago on Fortnite's Twitter that says today's island forecast, extreme weather, including tornadoes and lightning storms. Read all about some new weather arriving on the island. Before we take a look at the patch notes, I do want to play the video that was in this tweet. It looks like the tornado actually picks up vehicles. It also picks up other items. It looks like you also be able to glide in the tornado. So yeah, that's what the lightning and tornado look like. I do plan on streaming it on Twitch later today, so be sure to follow if you haven't already. But when we click on the link that's in that tweet, it uh, brought us to this page that says, today's forecast predicts tornadoes and lightning joining the island's elements. Find out below how to use this new weather to your advantage. Speaking of weather, turn up the temperature with the unvaulted flare gun. So it says, Twister and Shock, new weather explained. If you see a tornado start to form, that's no signal to flee. Instead, run into it as a swirling escape strategy. You'll spin around and round till you choose to glide to safety. Or if you stay spinning long enough till the Twister spits you out. Don't worry, you won't take fall damage if you get hurled. So once you get too close to the tornado, you'll get sucked up into it and you'll continue to spin around it till you either jump out and glide to safety or until it spits you out. But either way, you won't take fall damage. So you'll be able to use it to get around the map a little bit quicker, and you can also use it to escape from other players. It also says, if you see a dark cloud start to form, that's not necessarily a signal to flee either. Sure, the lightning from it deals a small amount of damage and sets the surrounding area on fire, but the power of its shock gives players a temporary speed boost. How to increase your chance of getting struck by lightning? Jump into a body of water beneath the cloud or reach the highest land point under it. Lightning doesn't strike twice back to back. Once you've been struck, lightning won't strike you again right after. So if you want to get struck by lightning, which sounds kind of weird, but if you want that, you're going to either want to jump into some water under a cloud or reach the highest land point under a cloud. So that's how you find the lightning and get struck by it. And the last thing they went over was the flare gun being unvaulted. It says, don't leave it up to just lightning to start fires. With this hot fix, the flare gun has been unvaulted. So now in addition to firefly jars, you can spark flare guns to make use of spreading flames, find flare guns in chests, on the ground, and from supply drops. And apparently these wild weather effects are gonna last from now until January 17th at 9 a.m. And there's a higher chance you'll encounter tornadoes around the island for their debut. The wind is at your back. So yeah, that's everything that came with uh, the wild weather update. It includes both tornadoes and lightning, and it's going to last for about a week. So that's everything we know in regards to the new weather update. It sounds really interesting, and I do plan on trying it out on Twitch later today. So be sure to follow if you haven't already. All right, so when it comes to the home base status report, uh, the first thing they said was a new year tends to spell the end of the holidays, but you still have time to experience the joy of the Winterfest venture season as it comes to a close on January 24th at 7 p.m. And we, we've already gone over like the first part of this home base status report in yesterday's video, but they say Cloak Shadow has emerged in the event store and, and Frost Knight offers one final challenge. So they are kind of late when it comes to Cloak Shadow and the Final Frost Challenge because uh, they're already available. They came out last weekend. But yeah, we've already reviewed Cloak Shadow. I'll leave a link to that review in the description. And I'll leave a link to some Final Frost gameplay in the description as well if you want to go check that out. But basically it combines the Frosty Turf, New Wave Holiday Superheated, and Top It Off challenges all into one. So you have to kill certain enemies. You'll have Icy Feet. You'll take damage whenever you get close to the burner. And you'll also need more Blue Glow than you normally will. So that's what those modifiers are. And again, they're all combined into one for the Final Frost challenge. If you survive for at least 30 minutes in Final Frost, you should get the Shark Attack Explosive Weapon. Uh, we have reviewed this one as well. I'll leave a link to this review in the description. But yeah, basically in this week's home base status report, they told us everything that we got last week. So they are kind of late on that. But they also told us what we can expect to see this week. And the only thing we're getting this week is the Snowball Launcher. It'll be available in the event store on January 15th at 7 p.m. 
and we've already reviewed this as well so i'll also leave a link to this in the description and that's pretty much everything that was in the home base status report since we didn't really get anything new this week i think we're gonna go ahead and try out this new weather update in br and we're gonna be streaming that on twitch but yeah, that sums up everything that was in the home base test report, as well as the wild weather update. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. Hope y'all found the video useful, and thanks for watching.